yeah, forking is not something easy. It's the same reason why um, you didn't have uh, a lot of projects whenever ASICs come out for them. They talk ASIC resistant and they don't want ASICs, but then when it comes time to put the work in to actually make a fork so that it makes that ASIC a paperweight, a lot of projects don't follow through with it. It's a very complex, very, I mean, it's a lot of project management to get everybody on the same page and it takes a, a month or two easily. Um, yeah, easily, I would say, you know, upwards of three months, depending on the yeah. coin. Because the problem is, is you have so many different stakeholders. Uh, you have merchants, you have exchanges, you know, you have individuals. Um, you have people that have been running nodes for years and have completely forgotten about it. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you contact those people? It's very difficult. So, you know, and unless the vast majority of the network hash rate and the sort of onboarding points to the network have upgraded, then you'll get a chain split and, and that's catastrophic for your, your currency. So, yeah. And this is another reason why we're not doing just a small tweak to layer two right now, just to counterbalance this, this supposed ASIC that's out there. We're, we're, we're not going to go down that avenue just because of the, the amount of time that it takes in order to get everybody to do a fork. And then immediately a few months later, do another fork or once vert hash is available, do another fork. You know, that's a lot of, um, you know, effort that doing it twice in just a few months versus just holding off just a little bit and then doing it once, uh, once the new algorithm is, ready to go. Yeah, I think there is some time um, that this ASIC that potentially exists uh, is clearly not being shipped in ridiculously large numbers if it is being shipped, uh, yeah. because we would have seen that reflected in the network hash rate. Uh, or more individuals that we know of in the community would have acquired one, I imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and that hasn't happened yet, as far as I'm aware. So. Yeah, uh, if any of you guys uh, who are watching the stream, if you know of anybody who has acquired one of these ASICs, um, let us know. Uh, come into our Discord um, in the mining channel or in the general channel and just let us know that you know somebody, you've physically put your eyes um, on this uh, ASIC and seen it perform because it would be good for us uh, to be able to have that information um, so that we can uh, continue just to, to build research and, and, and understand how... Uh, that thing is affecting our network if it's affecting it at all. Like like James said, the overall network hash rate has not spiked like we saw with Sciacoin whenever the Bitmain ASICs came out. Um, so right now, it doesn't look as if there is a large quantity of these on our network. Um, there may be one, but uh, you know we we can't tell for certain if there is just one device that's able to to do that. We have to look at the overall network hash rate to see if there's a, a sudden spike, and then that could be indicative of a uh, ASICs. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult because a lot of people often point, point to uh, large individual miners on mining pools as evidence for ASICs. Uh, but the problem is, is if you're a GPU miner mining on an industrial scale, uh, then you will have you know, many, many, many giga hashes worth of, of hash rate. Uh, so that's not necessarily indicative of an ASIC. That could just mean that someone is mining on a more serious scale than, than you necessarily are. Um, uh, and, and so until we you know physically get one of these things and, and we you know see it in front of us and we watch it generate coins uh, i'm quite skeptical about whether it is as advertised 